Hello everyone, this is Daniel Smiley and on behalf of Ozen Engineering Corporation Today I'm going to talk about uh, NBH analysis in the motorcad So in this presentation we are going to show how to carry out predictions of electromagnetically excited noise and vibration known as E-NVH for a brushless uh, permanent uh, machine that uh, we, we showed before which is for an e-bike so this is the third video of uh, the motocad series that we are going to make and we are going to make uh, more videos uh, in the uh, near future for motocad in the continuation of this series please note that the method described in this tutorial can also be used for uh, Synchro and SRM machine as well. Uh, just uh, one minute uh, about our company before I start the simulation and show you how to use the software. Uh, we, uh, we are located in Bay Area, uh, north part of California and uh, we sell ANSYS product and do customer support for them as well as do consulting projects for uh, different uh, companies from mechanical to uh, low and high frequency field. We also do training and uh, mentorship. So for today I'm going to uh, give you a little bit the introduction then I'm going to talk about the initial inputs, the, the setup and we'll review the result. In the last uh, video we talk about the uh, Motocad uh, thermal aspect of it and, and we, we created these uh, plots so here we have the Motocad open uh, I'm going to uh, pull up the uh, model I've used for the e-bike but if you want to have other models feel free to go file uh, and uh, go to the open template and here you can choose a different machine for instance you can choose the uh, BPM from this machine or IPM and uh, do the exercise in another way uh, yourself there are uh, many uh, templates here you just need to uh, choose one of them and then click on open template but for today I'm going to open the, the file that we, we created for the e-bike so we open the file and uh, we're going to check and make sure we're on the uh, motor type is BPM model. We do the uh, thermal last time and today we're going to use NBS. So we need to choose mechanical. And in the mechanical, I saw a little bit changed the interface. Uh, I mean, uh, the look is because uh, in the other one it had the, the cooling, the coolant as well. Here we have a um, just to recap, the slot number are 18, and the pole number are 4, and here you can see a little bit uh, of details. Your milk, uh, I'm not going into details because we reviewed this in the uh, other two uh, videos. Feel free to check them, or uh, I'm going to pause uh, in the, uh, these settings so you can pause the video and uh, look at them and then again play it and, and move forward. So here is uh, the slot type and the rotor type. Uh, from axial point of view, this is what we'll see. And these are the dimensions. Uh, this is the 3D part that we see. And uh, as you can see, the ENVH is, is shown here. Uh, and to recap, these are the input data. Uh, you can choose a material here uh, some settings uh, and the material database and here is the calculation tab that we will use uh, in, in, in a couple minutes so uh, come back to the input data on the setting parts we're going to do the uh, use this this tab here and as you can see we have the force calculation torque calculation and acoustic model I'll, I'll, I'll switch to these different tabs so you can see them as, as I'm talking so uh, it's good to note that you know the approach 
on this uh, um, simulation is based on calculating the vibration response of the stator to the radial forces which is uh, calculated based on the Maxwell stress uh, tensor simulation the forces are calculated around the stator at each time step as the rotor rotates and we'll, we'll see the time step here as you can see the step size so uh, and uh, from these forces the expected vibration and acoustic response is 